let's talk about some of the prognostic factors or let's talk about you know factors which may be present in patient may tell us about the outcome so there are various factors again these are divided into two one is positive or good prognostic factor negative or poor prognostic factors so let us discuss some of these factors now first is onset of symptoms so how much at how much time the symptoms have developed so if a patient has so if the onset of symptoms is abrupt or acute so the symptoms you know family members may say or you may get in the history that symptoms develop within few days or within you know before within two weeks the symptoms have developed then we say it has a good prognosis while if the symptoms have a insidious course so if the symptoms develop slowly they took months or years for the symptoms to develop in the patient then we say it is a negative or a poor prognosis age at which the patient develop these symptoms so if the age of onset is late so person may develop schizophrenia in the late 20s 30s or maybe late 40s then we say it has a good prognosis while if someone develops schizophrenia at a early age at a early age so maybe you know less than before you know 25 years then we say that it has a poor prognosis now gender we say that females have a good prognosis while males have a poor prognosis then again these subtypes we have discussed some of these subtypes so also we can see that some of the subtypes may have good prognosis and some may have poor prognosis so as we have already discussed so catatonic schizophrenia catatonic schizophrenia or paranoid schizophrenia they may have a good prognosis in fact catatonic schizophrenia is one of the subtype which has a which has a best prognosis while subtypes such as simple schizophrenia has a poor prognosis in fact it may have a worse prognosis that even disorganized disorganized or hebephrenic again have a poor prognosis now based on the prominent symptoms positive symptoms so if patient has predominant positive symptoms it has a good prognosis and if a patient has predominant negative symptoms it has a poor prognosis then let's talk about some of the other factors which are again used to describe good or bad prognosis now mood symptoms presence of mood symptoms if there are presence mood symptoms are present in a patient with schizophrenia so let us say a patient with schizophrenia has some depressive symptoms or have some manic symptoms so this is a good prognosis as compared to absence of negative symptoms so a patient may not have any mood symptoms so it is a poor prognosis family history so suppose a patient having schizophrenia has a family history of mood disorder so family history of mood disorder so let us say mother may be having depression or father may be having bipolar disorder so family history of mood disorder is a good prognostic factor as compared to someone who has a family history of schizophrenia so maybe let us say sibling is having schizophrenia or one of the parent is also having schizophrenia so this is a poor prognostic factor now marital status marital status it is seen someone who is married someone who is married is a good prognostic factor while someone who is unmarried someone who is unmarried or someone who is divorced or person is separated okay so these are poor prognostic factor again presence of social support so if there is good social support around so presence of social support is a good prognostic factor so there are people who can take care of the patient they can take care of his medicines regularly they can take care of the visits to the doctor regularly so good social support is a good prognostic factor while absence of or poor social support is a negative prognostic factor the pre morbid functioning so someone pre morbid means pre is before before morbidity before the illness how was the functioning of the person so family members may say before the onset of illness his functioning was good social occupational or personal functioning was good so pre morbid functioning if it is good it is a positive prognostic factor while poor pre morbid functioning so family members may tell you that you know even before the illness the person was not doing things regularly 
he was not socializing much so again poor pre-morbid functioning is a negative prognostic factor now employment if a person is employed so if there is employment present then again it is a good prognostic factor and if employment is absent again it is a negative or a poor prognostic factor precipitating factor if there is a precipitating factor or precipitating event before the onset of illness or there was a precipitating factor at the time of onset let us say there was some financial loss or there was some loss of family members and after which the symptoms have developed so it is a good prognostic factor while absence of any prognostic factor is a poor prognostic factor a cognitive impairment if is absent so we know that cognitive impairment may also occur so there is not significant cognitive impairment it is a good prognostic factor while if there is cognitive impairment present then it is a poor prognostic factor so these were some of the important negative and positive prognostic factors related with schizophrenia